any of you have seen the GPT-40 demo that came out from OpenAI two, three weeks ago or something like that? And you're really starting to get a sense that this is, uh, this is a thing that you can actually talk to and uh, it responds back in your nature, um, natural interface of like audio and it sees and hears and can paint and can do all these things. Uh, I think potentially many of you have seen this movie. If you haven't, I would definitely watch it. It's extremely inspirational for us today, uh, movie Her. And actually kind of, kind of presently in this movie, um, when uh, this main character here talks to the AI, that AI is called an OS, an operating system. So I think that's very present from that movie. Uh, and it's a beautiful movie and I encourage you to watch it. Now, the thing is that in this movie, I think the focus is very much on like the emotional intelligence kind of aspects of these models. But these models in practice in our society will probably be doing a ton of problem solving in the digital space. And so it's not just going to be a single digital entity that kind of in some weird way resembles a human almost in that you can talk to it, but it's not quite a human, of course. But it's not just a single digital entity. Maybe there's many of these digital entities. And uh, maybe we can give them tasks and they can talk to each other and collaborate and they have fake Slack threads and they're just doing a ton of work in the digital space. And uh, they're automating a ton of digital infrastructure. Not just uh, digital infrastructure, uh, but maybe physical infrastructure as well.